Hello everyone, I'm Vikram Aditya here. Welcome to JH of Tech. And in this session, I'm going to discuss the SAP S4 HANA Cloud 2102 Delta. And this would be the part one because this uh, very detailed session I'm making and uh, this is a series of uh, videos we all must watch and know uh, as an SAP consultant. So these, this particular series of videos is specifically for those who are already working on SAP and who, who are the aspirants of SAP and not for the beginners because maybe the beginners might not uh, get all the concepts which I'm talking about because this is a highly technical uh, series that I'm starting. So if at all, if you have someone who is starting the career in SAP or who have not yet started to the, is there is their career in SAP uh, we have some other videos that they can watch okay so let's start there is I'm going to cover what what's new in SAP S4 HANA cloud 2102 uh, we're going to decide we're going to discuss specifically to related to each topic like what exactly are the uh, new features that have been added and what are the changes that we have from the asset manage, management point of view, then finance, what are the finance related changes that we have, human resources, manufacturing, professional services, research, research and development, engineering, service, sales, sourcing and procurement, supply chain, industries, integration, and uh, then we are going to discuss how do we actually protect our SAP S4 HANA cloud and how do we actually manage the SAP S4 HANA cloud, extend and integrate our SAP S4 HANA cloud, data migration, how do we do it from uh, our old version of uh, the enterprise solution for, to the latest SAP S4 HANA cloud 2102. Then we are going to discuss about the master data, how are we managing the master data and then SAP Fiori Launchpad, enterprise contract, management and an assembly and country specific and region specific changes that we have depreciation of design studio applications uh, these are the things that we are going to cover there are 22 chapters and i'll do my level best to explain each and every topic in a very detailed way and let's start with what exactly is new from the basic overview in this video I'm also going to share a quick overview of uh, uh, the, the, the system as well and here uh, I'm discussing about the flexible assignment of accounting principles to ledgers so if you can see here in order to run parallel accounting uh, processing in our uh, SAP S4 HANA cloud system uh, we actually need to use several accounting principles for example german commercial code and accounting standards as corporate accounting the local gaap and the company's subsidiaries uh, with the innovation uh, sap has now brought this release it is now easier than ever before to have the flexible uh, assignment uh, whatever is required uh, and uh, and the accounting principles to respective ledgers only one configuration activity is required to update the assignment of the ledger to the accounting principles throughout the finance applications. This means that the new customers can change the previously fixed assignment of accounting principles to ledger according to their uh, business needs so this is a very great uh, change or uh, delta upgradation that has been done which i would like to repeat once again that if there are any uh, uh, two different accounting principles uh, one at the at the at the at the, at the organization level and another one at the, at the ledger level so we can actually accommodate them previously this facility was not there and this is something which is a remarkable uh, Updation that has been done in the latest version of SAP S4 HANA Cloud 2102. So, if you see here on the screen, I'm showing you the possibility of uh, going ahead with a flexible assignment of accounting principles to our respective ledgers. And this is something which is a clear example of uh, new customers can change the possibility of new customers being changing the previously fixed assignments 
to accounting principles to ledger according to their uh, you know principles changing to the ledgers according to their uh, business needs I'm going to soon come up with all the delta changes that uh, SAP has done on the latest SAP S4 HANA Cloud 2102 and I've been making a series of videos on this uh, and I know this is a very short video but I just wanted to uh, kind of release a trailer kind of a video here so this is it and please do subscribe to our channel and uh, and also share these videos with other with your friends thank you and have a great day